I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today to talk about my favorite choices in the Sephora Holiday Savings Event Sale. And I got this in the mail about a week ago and it reminded me that one of my favorite Sephora sales of the year is coming up. And in fact, when this video airs, for you Rouge members like me, the people who are honored to have spent $1,000 or more with Sephora during the past year, you will get 20% off starting today. And the Rouge members can shop from today through November 15th. And then the VIBs can come in and get 15% off between the 9th and the 15th of November. And then the insiders, that's everybody else. Even if you've not purchased anything at Sephora, you get 10% off during the sale, which is a wonderful deal. And that is November 11th through November 15th for you. And I hope that you will grab a drink. This is my sparkling mineral water from Costco. I think they call it European, but I'm sure it's never seen the shores of Europe, but it tastes pretty good. So anyway, let me get down to my recommendations for this sale. And I realized when I started looking through the Sephora website that much of my high-end, really gorgeous makeup has come from Sephora over the last couple of years. First, I'll tell you some recommendations that I have on right now. The first is this Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And quite honestly, I didn't used to like these eyeshadows because they are super heavily pigmented, which is nice, but they're also super flaky. They put up a powder, however, what I've been doing for the last six months is I now do my eyeshadow first and then I use a little makeup wipe underneath and then I put my foundation on. So that allows me to use this very high professional end makeup. Um, I absolutely love the Anastasia. I, I dropped the little, the little brush here. Here it is. And actually, amazingly enough, it's a very good brush. You can really use that to apply this palette. It's not a cheap throwaway brush. It's a great one. But look what I have on my eyes. Isn't that lovely? I absolutely love that. And that is this little color. Oh, this little color here, Vermeer. And then the crease is this little color mixed with a little bit of this little color. And my brow bone has this color here. Look at this. Oh my. I love a little bit of a shimmer on the lid because our lids tend to go away. And mine are going away too. I am getting hooded lids. But when you put lightness and a little bit of shimmer on your lids, it really makes your lids pop and it makes you look like you have lids. Love that. I just started wearing this and it is phenomenal. It is known as a primer. It's a Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. However, when I looked it up online, it's extremely highly rated and a lot of people wear it that like a light foundation look, they just wear it as their foundation. But I have it on as a primer today, but look at that. I don't think I've ever had such glassy looking, glowing skin. And you know, I was afraid of this because as we get older, I've got wrinkles around my eyes and I've got wrinkles around my chin. And I was really worried that this would be too glowy and make all those wrinkles stand out. But I really don't think it does. I think it gives my skin just kind of a young, glowy, dewy look and I'm really, really loving this. And again, that's on sale. Next, I have on something that's not Charlotte Tilbury, but I've been totally loving this. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Enchant Palette. And I've mentioned it in several videos because I think it is such a phenomenal deal. And it's what I have on right now. Look at those beautiful, peachy, very natural colors. There is a matte peach blush and then a little bit of an iridescent peach blush, just a little bit of shimmer, not bad at all, and then a gorgeous highlighter here, and then a gorgeous bronzer. And this is only like $20, and that is before the sale. So that is a tremendous buy. You know, I think I need to put a little more of this on there. Oh my, I always go a little too wild when I get out here and start reapplying stuff. But anyway, that is an absolutely fabulous deal. If you have a teenager that needs a great blush palette, this is a tremendously good buy. Another thing I have on my face, and I pretty much always have this on my face, is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. And you can see mine is getting rather worn there because I wear it all the time. And in fact, in looking through my makeup today, I realized that I had already repurchased a replacement for this, so I won't be buying this in the sale. But I think this is a necessity because the bronzer in it is super, super, super natural. You, you never really worry about wearing a chocolate bar when you have this on your face. Although, I better stop this. I am going to end up with a chocolate bar because you shouldn't really apply it with your fingers. 
but I think it's just beautiful and it really helps to sculpt this area especially because I'm starting to get jowls. You know, being 60 plus, I am getting jowls and it just helps to have a little bit of a bronzer along your chin line and a little bit under your chin to kind of sculpt that chin. And this is a very, very, very believable highlighter. And I always just wear it kind of up here and then down my nose. I'm gonna look ridiculous, I better stop that. But anyway, let me show you this. Isn't that just a supernatural color? It's just, just a little bit of a shadow. It is not dramatic at all, but it is quite functional. Something else that I don't have on my face right now, but I am reordering this in the sale, is this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow pencil in the color Champagne Chameleon. And that's what, it, oh, I'm sorry, this is Champagne Diamonds. She has another one called Chameleon, but there it is. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see how beautiful that is? I'll go ahead and put a little on. This is how I use it, really. I put my normal eyeshadow on, any kind of eyeshadow, and then you just put a little bit of this kind of in the inner corner just to give you a little bit of highlight, a little bit of glow, a little bit of a like a brightness to your eyes. And again, this is something that I consider just an absolute must-have in terms of my makeup because I use it all the time. And it's getting so low that when I open this half the time, the little insert, you know, falls out. And so I've been saying, oh, it's 26 bucks, but I'm going to get it on sale in the Sephora sale. Okay, the last things that I have on my face are my lips. And this is an old favorite of mine. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And there it is. And this is probably my third tube of this. I'm getting stuff all over my hands. Let me get rid of this. Okay, I'll put it on the back of my hands so you can see. Let's see. See, it is just a nice little nude peachy color with a little bit of a glimmer. Absolutely beautiful. This is pretty much the Universal Nude, still totally popular, even though it's been out several years now. And then for the lip liner, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I'll go ahead and put that right below it so you can kind of see how that looks. But there is the Pillow Talk Lip Liner and the Pillow Talk Lipstick above that. Really, really pretty. It goes beautifully together. Then on top, I have this Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I have a whole set worth of Pillow Talk and love it. It's absolutely a beautiful, oh, I'm sorry, it's not a lip liner. It is a lip gloss, but look how pretty that is. That just gives the nicest little glow to that lipstick, and I really think if you like the Pillow Talk lipstick, you'll love the Pillow Talk liner and the lip gloss. It is just a beautiful combo together, very easy to wear, stays on a long time, and really matches most skin tones, I would say. Now, I have some other eyeshadow palettes to show you and some blushes and a powder, which I absolutely love. But before I get to that, this is a fabulous time to buy your new faces for you or anyone in your family who really wants a new face. And I have two of them here because as you know who have followed my channel, I actually use a double new face in the morning because doing this with two new faces, it only takes me five minutes to do my new face workout. And I do it when I'm resting between my exercise sessions in the morning. And I have noticed that when I stop using this, my face just falls. And I have to say, if you're going to start the new faces, make sure to take a before picture and then an after picture because the changes are subtle, but they are real. And it's not only just the slightest bit of firming all over your face, it, it stimulates something in your skin, like a growth factor, something like that. But the little electrical stimulation in here, it does not hurt but it just helps bring on a more youthful glow to your skin. And in the past, I've stopped this for a few months, and a lot of you have said that there are times when you stop it thinking it doesn't do anything. And basically what happened for me is I stopped it, and six weeks later, I looked in my rear view mirror and I thought, who is that old haggy woman? Because my skin looked gray, it didn't have any glow, and I realized it was because I had not been using my new faces. And if you have a 20, a 15, or even a 10% discount, this is the best time ever to buy your new faces. Now, the next two items I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be buying quite a few of them. I'm gonna be buying a total of five of these, but these are phenomenal Christmas presents and I'm going to wait for during the sale. So I will order them later today, but here's a look at them. The first is the Sephora Favorites Perfume Collection. It is Sephora's favorite perfumes. And the neat thing is you get all of those samples and then you get a certificate that allows the person who has been given the gift to go out and choose one full size bottle 
of her favorite cologne or perfume. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be giving that, ooh, I shouldn't say, I will just say I'll be giving it to a couple of females on my list this year. And then for the men, I have three men on my list and they're getting the male counterpart of that gift. And that's the Sephora Faves Colognes. And it's a collection of their most popular male colognes. And then again, basically the person can try out all of those colognes and then he can go into Sephora and get a full size version of the one that he likes best. I think that's gonna be a super fun gift Allie's getting that and he never watches my videos and a couple of other males in my family. So I'm really excited to not only see what they choose, but also smell them because I love males in cologne. Okay, I have some other things in my cart, but I won't show you those yet. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in beauty products that help us look and feel our best at 30, 40, 50, 60 like me, 70, 80 and beyond, then age wonderfully, be with the 50 plus beauty family, and we can all learn from each other. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Okay, end of commercial. Now, this is a palette, and I have two of them, but I love this palette. And it is $65. It's a little pricey. However, I really think it's worth it because I have ordered, this is my second one, but look at those beautiful, mostly nude colors, browns, nudes, a little bit of peach, but what I love about it is these phenomenal lid colors. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. And I love this one. It's a goldish version of the same thing. One is more cream, one is more gold. But I just think that lives up to its name of being the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And this is a fabulous gift for someone and I can't imagine them taking this back because as I said, I have two of them. Now, here is another old favorite that I have, and it will be on sale, of course, in the Sephora sale because everything's on sale. And this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette, and it is by Tarte, and Tarte has beautiful eyeshadows. And look at that, extremely neutral. You don't have to worry that this gift won't be usable by the recipient because all of those colors are very, very nude and very brown, very, very natural. I love it that it comes with this little instruction card. There it is. That's always helpful to get you started. But again, it has a fabulous glowy lid color right here. See that? Super natural, very, very natural. And then there is a great under eye color right there. <laughs> I'm getting too much stuff here. And then many neutral brown crease colors there. And Tarte is known for its wearability and stayability. These shadows stay all day. And again, very, very neutral. <laughs> Let me uh, wipe my fingers off so I can get started again. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite palettes, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. And again, it has a little booklet that instructs you on different eyeshadow uh, techniques there for different eye looks. But this is that beautiful palette. And again, I love the browns. I love more neutrals. I don't really like warm eyeshadow palettes or very cool eyeshadow palettes. This is right in the middle. And again, it has this fabulous eyelid color. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely beautiful. And here is a more golden version of that same thing. Oh my, that is just beautiful. I love this brown color here for a transition, but really all of these, especially if you want to go a little more into the rosies, that's beautiful. And then look at this copper at a Christmas party or something, that copper would be phenomenal. So this is a fabulous palette, and these Too Faced shadows are some of the best out there. In fact, once I started working with high-end shadows, this was absolutely the first brand that I really fell in love with because it doesn't kick up powder, it lasts all day, and it's very easy and blendable. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, here's another Too Faced palette, and this is an oldie but a goodie. If you have someone that likes a lot of variety, and I love variety at times, this is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. And again, it has this fabulous book with all kinds of different eyeshadow looks in it. It has the beautiful lid colors, the shining lid colors. Look at those. Oh my, aren't they just beautiful? But it also has some surprising pops of color. This fuchsia color here is just lovely. And I particularly like this little peacock blue color. Look at that. If you want something that's got a little bit of something different, something special, I think you will really, really like this palette. It also has a really good burgundy here. I like this one. Some nice golds in here, some nice rosy tones if you like a little more of the rosy look. But that is an absolutely beautiful palette, super high quality shadows, and you get a lot of colors for not a lot of money. 
Okay, my next eyeshadow palettes, and I'm winding down here, are these Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads. And oh my, they are so beautiful. Especially if you're like me and you like a little bit of glow on your eyelids. These come in a lot of different colors, so these might not totally be your colors, but to me, these were the most neutral in the bunch because I have almost all of them. This is called Vintage Vamp, and look at that. Absolutely gorgeous little quad there. And the thing I like about a quad is you're really not going to waste any eyeshadow because there won't be colors in this that you don't use. And again, it has that phenomenal little lid color. Actually, it's got two of them. And I will tell you, if you don't like glimmer shadows, you know, this is not highly glimmery, but if you're older and you really prefer matte shadows, you're not going to like any of these because Charlotte Tilbury does kind of specialize in glowing eyeshadows. And here is the Exaggerize. And I particularly like this palette because it is supposedly designed to make your eyes look bigger, and I have small eyes, so I really enjoy that palette. And I also enjoyed that it is a super neutral palette. I'll show you a couple of the colors here. There we go. A little bit of the lid color, a little bit of the crease color. Absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I'm going to be keeping these out. I haven't worn them in a while, and this video is reminding me of how much I love them. And this is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. And this goes really well with the lipstick I have on right now because it's more bronzy, more warm tones. If you like the more warm tones, this Pillow Talk palette may be perfect for you. But here is the great lid color. Isn't that gorgeous? And here is a good underbrow color. And then it has a little bit of a warmer looking set of browns there. The light brown with a little bit of a peach in it. I would call that maybe a little bit of peach, but it's very subtle. And then the darker brown there. And then I have one more of these. And again, they have a lot more than these on the website. And this is the Uptown Girl palette. And I used a lot of that one. And again, it has a beautiful set of lid and brow colors right there. And then it has a rather dark, dramatic brown. And that is a great palette to do a smoky eye with, especially if you've got a great Christmas party coming up. Okay, I have three more products I want to show you. Then I'll briefly show you the few extra items I have still in my cart. The first one here is a Charlotte Tilbury blush, and it is one of my all-time favorites. It is called Cheek to Chic Blush Swish and Pop Blusher in the color Love Glow. And this camera is not doing this justice at all, but I'll try to show you what it looks like. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful kind of pinky, peachy tone there with a little bit of a shimmer, I mean tiny bit, but oh, it is a beautiful, young looking, fresh, romantic looking color, I think. And this is another one of my favorites. And this one looks horrible, but it is really very nice. Again, it's the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher, and it's the color Love is the Drug. And I'll try to show you that. It's hard to see. And this is probably more of a spring and summer color, but it is an absolutely beautiful kind of fuchsia -y pink. Oh heck, I'll put a little bit of that on. But it looks super, super natural. Absolutely lovely. Very, very pretty. And this is one of my all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. And I order it again and again. This is probably my fourth one. But this is the powder. And it is in the color. It's called Airbrush Flawless Finish. And every time you see a video, pretty much I have this on even if I don't mention it below the video, but this is in the color 2 Medium. And in my cart, I have a brand new one because obviously this one is, is getting used up there. But there it is. It's just a very nice universal kind of a powder. And sometimes I don't even use a loose powder. I'll just go ahead and dip my big brush in this. That's probably why it's going a little quickly. However, these usually get me four to five months, so they last a good long time. And they are a quality powder, and it doesn't give you that crunchy old lady look. It just kind of does what it says. It gives you kind of an airbrushed, flawless finish, and I really love this. Okay, I know this is getting a little long, but I also want to show you the items that are in my cart that I'm going to be ordering them, and you will see them in a future video. And I'm really excited about all of these products. The first one I order every single year, and this is the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash To Go Mascara Sampler Set, and it is five of their most popular mascaras, and it is a great way to try mascaras out in those travel sizes, and they're really good-sized mascaras, all for $29, and then you can choose your favorite. You know, they don't let you go in and get the favorite free, but it is a great way to try out some high-end mascaras and not waste your money, and I do that every year, and you'll probably see those, maybe a Mascara Wars video. I've done them in the past. Now, the next things I have are basically eyeshadow palettes, 
And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Soft Glam 2 eyeshadow palette. And I absolutely love that. I'm especially excited about that burgundy color and that coppery color. And again, that beautiful creamy lid color above. And then the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette is also in my shopping cart. And I absolutely love it because I'm going to try to do a little more of a dramatic bronzy eye but yet I really like all of those lovely creamy neutrals with a little bit of shine and shimmer to them. And I particularly like that purple up in the right corner and also the gold below. Now here's another eyeshadow palette I'm going to be ordering and this is the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette number two. And I have had the last two of these and they are phenomenal palettes. And I like them because if you're traveling, it is kind of an all-in-one face palette because you have three different sets of eyeshadow there and then you have a highlighter down in the right corner and two different blushes. Absolutely a use every day, get a lot out of it palette. And the last eyeshadow I'm going to be ordering is the Charlotte Tilbury Palette of Pops Luxury Eyeshadow Palette and that is just the pop colors, the, the extra colors that you put on your lids to really bring a glam sparkle to your eyes and Charlotte Tilbury does that so well. She really makes those poppy, glowy, shimmery colors just outstanding. And so having four of them in one palette is really exciting to me. Now, the next product is a Charlotte Tilbury Limited Edition Super Nudes Nudegasm Bronze Sculpt and Glow Face Palette. And that was extremely highly rated. 600 people rated it almost totally five stars. And again, no one does the glowy look like Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm excited to get that. And the last item in my palette is again, another bronze and glow type palette because lately I find myself wanting to not be so matte, wanting to kind of have a little bit of a useful glow to my skin and be a little more dramatic and out there in terms of the shine and shimmer. A lot of the time they say we older women can't wear, you know, iridescent or shimmery or anything like that highlighters, but I'm really starting to like the look of going for that highlighter. And this looks like a fabulous palette. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. It is $45, and again, it has beautiful colors. I love that kind of fuchsia pink blush color there, and then that gorgeous creamy highlighter, and then two colors of bronzer. And I think those are very versatile colors, and I think I will use everything in that palette. I can't wait to get it. Okay, again, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll join the 50 Plus Beauty family where we learn to grow old gracefully together or to grow maybe old physically but young at heart on the inside. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. This is the Good Word card deck with 50 scriptural insight cards. I've been reading some scripture cards lately because I'm trying to really learn more about the Bible and read more scripture. I'll choose this one. We'll see what it says. Okay, let me come in a little closer. This is kind of small and hard to see. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And that's Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. And actually, I really, really love this card. It's funny how these cards are just really something germane to my life when I pull them out. And I love this. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And recently, that is something I have really been working on, and that is turning my life over all aspects of my life, every way, shape, and form to the Lord. Because I think all my life, I have really gone on my own, what I thought of as my own power. I was out there pushing and shoving and having my to-do list and making my goals. And recently, I've realized in this part of my life, that I'm pretty set in terms of my life. You know, financially we're doing fine. We're looking towards retirement. And now I want to become one of those older women who I've always admired that have a deep faith in the Lord and a calmness and a peace about them. And I think the reason they have peace is that they've learned that it is so much easier rather than fighting every step of the way in life to just go with the Lord's flow, just to kind of release your life into the flow of the Lord because those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And that's what I want for my life. And I hope it's what you want for yours too. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video.